Mr. Bean? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Welch for his initiative in uh, pursuing this with uh, the state of New Hampshire. Uh, and uh, your letter, and we could read your letter, uh, is uh, especially cogent. Uh, unless you are on Mars, uh, it was the worst weather uh, in history in New Hampshire. And uh, that's an extraordinary event. Uh, the state of uh, New Hampshire uh, sucks $200 million a year out of this very town. And if you will look at the financials tonight from Director Polmium, there is not one dime of shared revenue on that line. There never has, or there hasn't been recently during my tenure. It's not going to happen this year. These people in Concord can't balance a budget. They can't work together. We have had Director Rose from another department at this state uh, sandbag us on testimony with Next Taylor that has cost this town seven figures. Uh, we could get an attorney and we could challenge this other director that sits in Concord on how to run our town, but we're not doing that. And I would also like to thank uh, Chairman Latimer in her letter to the Budget Committee. And these are rational people um, trying to run a town in a, uh, a savage winter that savaged the budget. And we may be able to patch it and mend it, but we've got infrastructure falling apart. We've got union contracts. We've got people that live in this town that have to travel on these roads. But this going to the Wizard of Oz in Concord and getting these letters back that are open to interpretation, I, I would maintain that uh, Chairman Latimer, that you, Chairman Griffin, and that Mr. Welch have acted as uh, gentle people, and you've acted professionally, and you've com communicated with these folks. And quite frankly, uh, I don't see an adversarial position, and I think the lines of communication that Mr. Welch exploited were sufficient, and that he was doing his job, and the vote was four to one. Naturally, Selectman Woolsey, and rightfully so, is, is the dissenting vote on that. And uh, she has further added her comment tonight, but uh, there are no bad guys in this. There were no problems. There were no mistakes. This was just following the rule of law. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.